if you look at nature, frogs live in very dirty environments. They get injured, but they, their injuries heal on their skin. And that's all because frogs have one of the richest, well, one of the largest number of antimicrobial peptides in their skin. And you look at it, these peptides, some of them are spread uh, throughout the nature, which means pathogens have not been able to find defenses against them. And we saw that it, it clicked. The plates basically are our testing and growing factories in the sense that we transfer the genes that have the instructions for the peptides into E. coli and these genes are expressed and the peptides are synthesized in E. coli. We spray the surface of the E. coli containing plates with a solution or a gel of the pathogen that we are trying to test against. If it is being killed, then we have these nice, clean, clear areas around the E. coli colonies. We have found some peptides that are basically universal cell catchers or cell traps. It's like the fly trap. If a bacterial cell or microbial cell lands there, they are held and taken apart, killed. These can have important uses in the sense that we can put them onto surfaces. For example, things like skin cancer which would be fine. We, we could find a peptide that will attack skin cancer because it surface. My mother had cancer. Uh, it was an unusual cancer, and she had something like 20, 30 operations. And you, you'll see, hear this story from engineers who are in cancer field. They typically end up having a family member, and they get curious whether, en as engineers, we could do something. I mean, engineers, after all, are supposed to change lives for the better. So you can think of this as me moving to an area where I can have an impact faster.